Hi everyone, let us discuss about similarity. Here I am going to compare two squares, one called C, another one called D. Both of them have the edge 5 cm. When we place one on the other, we find that they both fit into each other perfectly. These are called as congruent squares. Let me take another example here. You can see square X and square Y. Square X has an edge of 5 cm, square Y is a smaller one with a 3 cm edge. When we try to place one on another, they do not fit. Clearly, these both are not congruent, but their shapes are same and alike. We call them as similar. Means, they are not congruent, but still similar. In the previous case, they were both similar as well as congruent. So once if two squares are congruent, we can see that they are also similar. Let us take few more examples. Here I have taken many squares. Let us try to place everything on each other. Both of them coincided. This one did not coincide. Again coincided means they are congruent. The small one is not congruent but very very similar. This one merged with the previous. So, some of them are congruent, some of them are not congruent. But all of them are surely similar. So, what can we say? We can say that all the squares are similar because of the same shape. But only few of them are congruent. But that means all the congruent squares must be similar. But all similar squares may not be congruent. Let us discuss with an example of equilateral triangles. I take EFG, an equilateral triangle, and HIJ, another equilateral triangle. I try to place one on the other. Perfectly fitting. They both look the same. They are similar in shape as well as they are congruent. So congruent triangles are similar. Let us try to check with different sizes. Now MNO is a triangle. The PQR is another triangle which is smaller. We try to place one on another. Here they are not fitting into each other means this is, these are not congruent. But their shapes are same means they are similar. Here they are similar but not congruent. In the previous case they were congruent as well as similar. Let us take few more examples. Equilateral triangles. Okay, a big triangle and few more smaller triangles. Let me try to place again like the squares what we did. The triangles, few of them are merging, they are congruent, few of them are not congruent. So we find it here that the triangles when placed on each other, some of them fit into each other, making them congruent. But all of them are not congruent. So all the equilateral triangles are similar in shape, but only few are congruent. If anybody asks, are congruent equilateral triangles similar to each other? Yes, of course. But are all similar equilateral triangles congruent? No. Some of them may be, some of them aren't. Let us talk about circles now. Does the same argument hold for circles? I have taken two circles with centers P and O, both with the same radii. Now when I try to place one on another, they fit perfectly. Now these are congruent circles. And surely their shapes are same, so they are similar also. Let us take two more circles. In this case, the circle with the center P has a bigger radii and the circle with the center O appears to be with a smaller radii. When we try to place them on one another, they do not fit perfectly. One is smaller, one is bigger. This shows that their shapes are similar but not congruent. Let me take few more circles to understand it better. Here I have taken many different sizes circles and they all come together and you will see that they fit into each other. Some of them do not. Again here we can say that all the circles are similar in shape but only few of them are congruent. So all congruent circles are similar but all similar circles may not be congruent. So summing up the all the different figures that we discussed. From the examples, we can say that all congruent figures are similar, but all similar figures are not congruent. 
Let us take some real life examples. Here are some twins. They are exactly like one another. So they are like congruent figures. They are similar to look at. Yes, also congruent. So congruency implies similarity. But similarity may not imply congruency. I am taking few examples of some cloned animals here. These cloned sheep and, sheep and cloned dogs. They are congruent. They resemble each other perfectly. But they are also similar. The reverse may not be true. Let us compare two different things. Like a circle and a square. Now, the question is, are they similar? No, they are not. It's very evident just by looking at them. They are not equal. They are different. Can a triangle and a pentagon be similar? Of, of course not. They cannot be same. The shapes are totally different.